As shown in this schematic conceptual image, Simple Inchworm Robot is suitable for self-evolution robot that can explore unknown planet by evolving through multiple generations. Because the mechanism and structure of the body of the Inchworm Robot is quite simple, it is easy to evolve and improve them with artificial intelligence and 3D printers automatically. This is the schematic image of the double network gel, DN gel, on the leg of the inchworm robot. When current flows through the circuit, the molecule of water emerges around the cathode that is attached to the right surface of double network gel. This water reduces the frictional resistance of a leg of the inchworm robot, and this leg works as the lifted leg of the inchworm robot. After current stops, the water vaporizes from the cathode of the circuit, and frictional resistance of the leg is also recovered. This is how the leg returns to work as supporting leg of the inchworm robot. This video shows the physical principle of the walking motion of the inchworm robot. When the left leg works as the lifted leg with the current flow and water that emerges around the cathode of the left leg, the shape memory alloy that is connected to the left leg also shrinks with the current flow, and it pulls this left lifted leg. In this video, the electrodes with current flow are yellow, and the shape memory alloy activated with current flow is red. The DN gel with current flow that provides water to reduce frictional resistance is blue. After pulling the lifted leg, the shape memory alloy cools down with cutting the current, and it expands and pushes the second leg in the middle that works as the lifted leg with current flow this time. The right shape memory alloy shrinks at the same time with current flow, and it pulls the second leg at the middle of the robot's body with small frictional resistance. After moving forward, the middle leg returns to the supporting leg by cutting the current, and the shape memory alloy also starts to expand by cutting its current. For the while, the right leg works as the lifted leg with current flow and small frictional resistance with the water emerges around its cathode. So the right leg moves forward, while it is pushed by the expanding shape memory alloy on the right side. By repeating this process multiple times, this inchworm robot can continue to move forward smoothly with very simple mechanism. This is the first prototype of the soft inchworm robot with one segment. Its body is composed of DN gels, shape memory alloys, and electrodes. With only these components, this robot can move forward and backward in the plane with the physical principle described before. Two DN gels are attached to the body of the inchworm robot and work as its legs this time. This is the real motion of the first prototype of the soft inchworm robot with one segment. By switching the lifted leg and the supporting leg with current flow, the robot can move forward smoothly. This is the second prototype of the soft inchworm robot with two segments. Its body is also composed of DN gels, shape memory alloys, and electrodes. With only these components, this robot can move forward and backward in the plane with the physical principle described before. Three DN gels are attached to the body of the inchworm robot and work as its legs this time. This is the real motion of the second prototype of the soft inchworm robot with two segments. By switching the lifted leg and the supporting leg with current flow, the robot can move forward smoothly. This is the third prototype of the soft inchworm robot with two segments. Its body is also composed of DN gels, shape memory alloys, and electrodes. With only these components, this robot can move forward and backward in narrow environments, such as a pipe, with the physical principle described before. This time, the robot's body has symmetrical and cylindrical shape to run inside of pipes. Nine DN gels are attached to the body of the inchworm robot and work as its legs this time. This is the real motion of the third prototype of the soft inchworm robot with two segments. By switching the lifted leg and the supporting leg with current flow, the robot can move forward smoothly. This time, the camera is attached to the robot's head at right, and its image is shown in the upper right corner of the video. By repeating the similar process of evolution automatically with artificial intelligence and 3D printers for many generations, the robots can adapt themselves to the harsh environment such as the surface of the unknown planet gradually. This will be a very effective way to conduct planetary exploration in the future.